Hi, Sanele. Hi, everyone. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. We are happy to have you here at Fieko TV, mm -hmm. our YouTube channel. Can you please introduce yourself to the people that are watching us? Gee, I wear many hats. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Mr. DJ last time. <laughs> yes, I wear many hats. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm the CEO of Soito Tourism mm -hmm. Association. And um, and I am also the co-founder and um, director of um, African United Carnival. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, um, the co-founder mm -hmm. member, the member of... Um, MMM Holdings, um, which is on another space uh, altogether, not in the tourism aspect. So let's focus on these two in the tourism aspect. Oh, okay. What do you think about the tourism in Africa? We need to get together and do this. Mm -hmm. You know, we are the gem of Africa. We're the gem of this continent, in fact. Mm. Africa is a gem in 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 uh, in. Uh, you know in the continent uh, it's got so much to offer um we just need to unite um hence we've got this africa united carnival um you know uh, part of things but africa just needs to unite we we should not have borders mm -hmm. in africa mm -hmm. we just need to just uh, have cultural exchange uh, unite and just become one mm -hmm. in, in, in 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 the tourism aspect of things we've just got to offer so much to the Europeans, to the Asian, to every, but we need to just create and come out as a, as a, as Africans in our own different ways, uh, in our cultural ways, in our, um, you know, in our diversity, mm -hmm. you know, and we just need to bring this thing together and bring it to life and let, you know, the world travel to Africa. Um, yeah. So. Mm. Can you tell us in short about the? So it's a tourism since you are the CEO. Wow. Tell us so in, to tourism, in short, yeah. Two noble uh, uh, leaders mm -hmm. come from Soweto. Yeah. Soweto is a city of its own. Soweto is is known all over the world yeah. because of our great leader such as Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu. Um, so there's Soweto is is the pinnacle of um of of south africa yeah um you cannot come to south africa and not come to so it so are you gonna invite us that side to come and see the <laughs> oh, for sure. yeah you why do you need an invitation <laughs> you can just go, go. You can just go <laughs> you know i mean in terms of guiding us this is this yeah this is this. yeah no we've got lots of guides we've got lots of activities we've got lots of things to see do and feel touch and yeah there's just so much culture in Soweto. too i think we need to come there so that our people also can learn because last yeah. time in the show mr didier mentioned that there is that bicycle tour yes yeah, there's a bicycle, yeah. bicycle yeah. tour of Soweto, bungee like jumping famous towers. quad bike yeah. Yeah. there's all uh, sorts all sorts a lot of activities yeah in our side i'm sure it's not happening in our side so people from our side they will see and learn from it maybe they they can start entrepreneur um, you know you know why this is important um sorry to jump in here no, because in most um of my interventions on the media yeah. okay have also picked the wrong perception of that soweto. to real no not just of soweto of other african nations yeah. Yeah. um one of them being the drc mm -hmm. they think for tourism to happen the country need to have massive highways skyscrapers yeah. all sort of developments i say that's all good it can happen but we also don't need, need to kill our roots which becomes even the center of attraction and when you look at japan as developed and sophisticated as it is but most of tourists actually goes to the villages to see the all the villages older than 400 years to see the temples they don't come there to just look at high-rise buildings sure. so sure. why am i saying this soweto is a nepotism mm of an example many African countries to, to should follow because when you do the, this visit on the bicycle biking, you bicycle go in the yeah. slum or what we call townships yeah. yes. you don't just drive on the tar road and yeah, you go sure. you go between structures like a wooden and zinc structures mm -hmm. you can literally but this has become a, an experience of its own so 
we can as africa incorporate tourism exactly. in our culture exactly. in, a, in, in our in our homestead mm -hmm. in our, our our settings and make tourism work yeah. just add to many more that we we already have i agree with it in so many ways um tourism is is our you know is is everywhere around us mm. tourism is 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 us exchanging culture mm -hmm. uh, um, a cultural exchange between the a Sowetan and a Congolese mm. um, yes. tourism is just it's, it's just so many things in one but basically it's us promoting our own backyard our own townships thank our you own. so domestic tourism is what we need to be talking about mm -hmm. for Africa yes right? yeah domestic tourism is important that you as a Congolese need to understand that promote the domestic tourism then look out for the international market to come and and uh, uplift your community and in this case I have to say when you say domestic it's Africa it's Africa <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's yeah. It. yeah yeah so domestic tourism is just what we all need to start emphasizing and that's why all it's, our African countries. it's very important yeah, for yeah, Africans yeah. to be able to move freely mm -hmm. so that we can explore that, uh, different destinations that's it, that's within it. the continent and and be in even the, the biggest contributors in terms of, of, of finances Absolutely. because when people move around then they don't just move empty-handed <laughs> and, yeah. and we're skilled like that as Africans we're thank skilled. you we're skilled so like that buy from each other that's <laughs> yeah. true Let's that's true it. that's true yeah, so wow thank you so much that's so, very inspiring yeah so if i understand well tourism is where there is people there is tourism absolutely <laughs> so it has nothing to have with the buildings the yeah. highways the what 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 this is tourism us <laughs> discussing and talking it is you know it's tourism. it is we, we it is it. Yeah. To have that misconception yeah. now i'm i'm fine now i've learned yeah <laughs> look there are many examples mm -hmm. okay and uh, let's still emphasize the fact that we say we're not saying that countries or government shouldn't develop the country shouldn't build the infrastructures no 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 that's not what we're saying but what we're saying is that as these infrastructures they are still either not there or under construction it shouldn't be an obstacle for tourism not to happen we can't sit and saying only when we have these buildings and these bridges and then this and this we we there are areas tourism is done on a mokoro you know the traditional uh boat um tourism is done in the in the bush in 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 villages even here in South Africa, mm. I can tell you 80% of tourists, real tourists, not the corporates, they stay in town meetings, mm. we know all that they come for business. Mm -hmm. But the other tourism, they land in big cities and they move to other provinces. They move to Kruger National Park. Mm -hmm. They m go to, to Pilanesberg. They, 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 they go to, to north of Deben. Mm -hmm. you, you know, they, they move to where they, 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 they raise this population that somebody will say rural area mm -hmm. or not that developed. But that is an experience for them that makes experience for them exactly. so tourists don't land here to to stay here and looking at a carlton no. center <laughs> saying, oh wow There's look at this in tourism. You know, There's food tourism where we exchange uh, each other's uh, cuisines mm -hmm. and, and, and talking of food can i tell you one thing mm. do you know that the same food even though it's african cuisine when it's sold in all these big five star hotels, it's different than when it's done in yes, local areas. Yes, yes, and it's nicer. It's when we do nicer. It yeah. Yes, when it's yes. done locally, yeah. the mm. African way, yeah. mm. you f get the the real flavor. Yeah. <laughs> and, and on top of that, we the, it's so similar. Our foods are similar. Mm -hmm. It's just that the names and how it's prepared is how, different. Which which, which makes us unique, unique as 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 Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, on Africa Day, I uh, uh, had a few conferences I uh, had to address uh, within the African continent, and the other one even was live from Belize mm. in Latin America, talking of of Africa Day. And, and on this day, I drove one message. The message was we, we need to learn to celebrate our similarities mm. and appreciate our differences Absolutely. because that is what makes us African. Yes. So this is still what 
people experience in tourism uh, is the same chicken yeah. but cooked in uh, <laughs> thousands of <laughs> same chicken and you eat it it's all nice in a different way you know so um, uh there is no chicken for example nigerian chicken looking different the hard body. it is the same it's a hard body, eh? hard body. <laughs> Let's make sure we're talking about that. But you know, you know we also have it here. Yes, no, Because I do. heard some people calling it Zulu chicken. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Zulu chicken. Zulu chicken. The oh, hard body. The hard body. <laughs> but oh. it's just mm. flavored. It's nice. And in West Africa, they put other spices. spices yeah. And then they mix with other ingredients, other herbs. Or even add the meat. They yes. mix chicken with oh, other yeah, meat like, or fish. Like, like Nigeria. <laughs> yes. They, they do a combo. You, you a combo, a combo. They call it <laughs> assorted. It. It's all assorted. <laughs> <laughs> all assorted, yes. How many people would tell me, I'm traveling to Nigeria. Oh, I can't wait for pepe soup. That's you know, sick. people are already having it in mind. Mm. Um, I saw this beautiful map mm -hmm. of Africa, mm -hmm. but with a specific dish to them, mm -hmm. to that part of Africa. And I looked at Congo, I saw something like chick chicken a la mm. and something like that. Mm -hmm. And this is chicken cooked with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Ah, I've tasted so, that. Yes, and the same chicken somewhere else, it's done differently. Yeah. So it becomes part of experience. We, we also can't... have that dish in South Africa, mm. in different cultures, yes. where you cook with a peanut butter. With a peanut butter. Mm -hmm. You know? It and becomes different. Yes. So. I sit and think and say why Africa is lacking beh behind when it comes to tourism. And one of the main things is ignorance. Okay. They don't even know, they don't even know that what surrounds in them. Ourselves. Yes. We don't believe in ourselves. What surrounds us yes. can that attract the tourism. That this we can sell. We can sell anything that we have. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And why why do you not why do you have to have an Airbnb or a, a luxurious place to stay in or live in where you've got your back back room mm -hmm. where you can invite a tourist to come and experience to come and experience. An experience oh yes you know oh yeah so we forget that we can open our homes mm -hmm. to these tourists to come in and 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 share in our meals in our the, culture, the, the in local our, area enjoy it more yeah. than being in a hotel oh yeah exactly. that's true yeah that's, that's true. true thank you very much Sanele, for being with us today thank you so much i think we're we gonna come your side and see what's <laughs> happening you're most okay. welcome thank you okay. thank you so much for joining us <laughs>